Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign have finally put out Vultures 2. Vultures 2 was originally announced to be released on March 8th, shortly after the release of Vultures 1, which I believe, if I remember right, was in February. That date came and went. Nothing to be said about it. The next time we heard about Vultures 2, it was going to be announced on May 3rd. That date also came and went, and we didn't really hear much about it. We then, shortly after that, started hearing from Ty Dolla Sign saying that, oh yeah, the album's done, it's ready to go, it can be dropped really at any moment, any day now, it's going to come out. We didn't really hear too much beyond that until July 31st. On July 31st, we heard that the project will be released exclusively on Yeezy.com on August 2nd, which was yesterday. August 2nd came and went. No project. Until the wee hours of the morning on August 3rd, 2024, today, or, you know, Saturday, if you uh, are watching this later. The album drops, and people are rightfully excited. Because with Vultures 1, there were a handful of songs that people really enjoyed. People loved them. Fans were excited. And, you know, they, they kind of expected a continuation of Vultures 1. Or to be able to hear some of the snippets that they heard as full-fledged songs. And boy, were they all disappointed. Everyone. Everyone has these two major things to say about the project. One is that... It is not mixed well. The mixing is horrible. You go song to song, the levels are entirely different. That's just, that's just a very base level thing. Like, I don't understand mixing and mastering that well, and I, I understand that that needs, to, that needs to be addressed. Second thing is most of these songs do not sound finished. They are in, they're either different from the snippets that people heard, so they're rightfully disappointed, or... They're just not done. You have Kanye just kind of rambling on them. Or you have them like on 530, for example. Kanye is literally just doing the thing when a rapper is trying to catch a beat. Like he's kind of muttering lines to himself, trying to figure out like how to how to go on beat. And while that may sound cool in some cases, it doesn't really make sense here. Like it does like why is it included? Now, personally. I didn't really care for this project. Like, I, I was, one, yeah, I listened to it a couple times. Fine, whatever. Uh, obviously, I don't care for it. That's why I'm rambling here. But this project, I wasn't looking forward to either. I listened to it because it came out, but I fully expected it to not actually drop. So when it did drop, I was very confused and surprised. So I listened to it a couple times. I have the same thoughts that they have, or a lot of the fans do. And honestly, I haven't been in love with a Kanye project since My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. And that was in 2010. It's been 14 years that Kanye hasn't put out an album that has been good. There have been songs, there have been portions of albums, there have been ideas, but there hasn't been a singular solo album from Kanye that was good. And the last one that I was even mildly interested in was Kid See Ghost, and that was only because that was during the Good Music Surgical Summer where we had already gotten the Pusha T album, and you know he was going to be putting out an album every week or whatever the, the timeline was for that. And even that, it was fine. It was okay. Now, aside from those two major issues that everyone has, there are a couple other things that I have that I feel um, I didn't I, I don't care about the raps. Kanye's never been a good rapper, though. That's never been what you go to Kanye for. You go to him for the overall music. And I mean, with this album, there are some OK songs, right? Like he's trying to put out something. Something's there, you know, like the, there's little semblances of like, oh, maybe Kanye has an idea here, but at this exact moment, there is nothing there. And, you know, just trying to play devil's advocate, sure, maybe Kanye released Vultures 2 in this state because he wanted to. Maybe this was intentional. But nobody wants to hear that shit. Kanye, 
Like you have been incredibly lazy for the past however many years. You haven't put out anything that's been boundary pushing. You really have just been coasting off of your brain dead fans who only recently have started to realize maybe you're not as good as you think you are. You need other people around you to tell you, no, you're not doing something right or this sounds like ass or maybe you shouldn't release this. I don't care if there is another version of this album that is coming out. There is no reason this album should have been released in this state. If there is another version of this album coming out, I don't care anymore. Like it is not worth anyone's time. It is unacceptable at this point. Like, why do you think that you can fix an album? It shouldn't have to be fixed. The album should just be released. Like, sure, one or two songs here and there, but this is the entire fucking album, Kanye. Like, you haven't put out a good album. <laughs> like, what is this shit? <laughs> And this is not even like from somebody who's a real big fan of Kanye. Like, I don't even care about him that much. And I'm upset about this. Like, because I think what this is going to do is set the precedence that, oh, yeah, artists can just half ass their shit and their fans are going to like it. Like, that's not okay. (sighs) Aside from that, there are some tracks that are just goddamn awful. Husband is cringy and high key misogynistic. Why are you trying to say that this person needs a husband? Like, they don't need a husband. You're just speaking for them. And then, what the fuck is bomb? I appreciate that you got your kids on a song, and you gave them that, but why did you let them put this out? I don't care that North knows some Japanese. It's not even good. There's there's nothing there. Like, there are, there are inklings of this being a halfway decent album. If it was released in the whatever version they're going to update it to. But given the current state that it's in right now, it's, it's not good. And honestly, I don't think it's worth anyone's time to go back to it once there is an update for it. Like, it's just a complete waste. It's, it's frustrating, right? Because, you know, there, Kanye is a good producer. He is a good artist. Like, as far up until Donda. And even Donda was okay. Like there, there were some some tracks there, but everything beyond that, he's just he's just been coasting off of his name. And he, honestly, even before that, like he he just gets lazy. And I don't know if it's a perfectionist thing or ADHD thing, because I I understand sometimes you know like you're you're working on a project and you you just get most of the way done and you're like okay that's good enough, because you don't want to over perfect it or waste too much time just kind of tinkering with it. But there's a certain threshold where that's okay. If you get to like 95, 99%, sure, by all means. But you have like 3% here. Like, I don't get it. And like, you know, I I want to, like, I didn't want to be as negative as, as I'm being right now, especially because this is my first video, like proper video in what, a month, two months. But God damn it, Kanye. You've upset me. You've disappointed me. And I don't even know why I'm disappointed. Like, I I should have expected this by now from you. And again, this is coming from somebody who doesn't even care about Kanye that much. This is only because Kanye is such a big presence in hip hop and just music in general. So when somebody like him does something like this, It's just people are going to follow it and they're going to think it's okay. And it's not. You can't keep putting out music like this. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like if if this was your intention, fine. But I, I truly do not believe that your intention was to put out a trash ass album. Anyways, I'm, I'm just going to stop there before I rant for far longer. Um, Be on the lookout for a JPEG mafia review because that album was good. Um, and let me know what else I should be should be talking about. Um, and also in the comments, let me know what you thought of this project. Like I said, there are some songs on here that are good and fine, but the lows of this project are so underground that there's no saving it, it feels. 
Um, but yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Um, while you're down there, like and subscribe to see more rambling and content like this. Thank you for watching and please stay safe out there.